Okay, brilliant. Thank you. I've got some notes here because sometimes anarchic improvisation uh, is not enough. Uh, okay, great. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I learned today. But first of all, the most important thing of the closing remarks is to thank all the people that made this event happen. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> I. I would, I, would, I, 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 would partic I would particularly like to thank Sheila Kohanteb, who's the sort of genius, who's the, who's the brains behind the whole operation, who, you know, who just put so much thought and passion and energy into this global forum that we're greatly indebted to her. And, and the rest of the team at Pearson, Anna Medieris and Emily McGill uh, in particular, I don't know where they are, but, you know, and they've been fantastic and everybody else. So I'm really grateful for everyone making it happen. So when I, you know, just there was a lot of things. I really had fun today. I don't know about you. Um, and we haven't even got to the bar yet. Uh, and... Uh, but, you know, I sat there just trying to think about, as I usually do, how you put these different things together. You know, how do you put the grand ideas together with the detail and the nuance and, you know, and, and, and something that, you know, many of us work on that I've been thinking about, you know, for far too long. You know, how is it that you create a peaceful, egalitarian and prosperous society? You know, so when we had the panel on social mobility and inequality, you know, the big message there was there's no real trade-offs there, actually. You know, prosperity, equality, and peace sort of move together. That's what uh, Professor Durloff and the other panelists were, were talking about. There's no trade-offs, uh, which is sort of what I've always believed. You know, but the fact that there's no trade-offs, unfortunately, is not enough <laughs> for it to happen. It's not enough to create prosperity, you know, you can't automatically create prosperity, peace and equality, even if there aren't any trade-offs. So why is that? Well, you know, President Zedio said, you know, he kept on emphasizing the rule of law. It's about the rule of law. This is what's fundamental, the rule of law. But I sat there thinking, okay, great, but how do you get the rule of law if you don't have it, you know? But I think we sort of learned a bit about that in the Iranian discussion, actually, in the Iranian panel. You get the rule of law when people <laughs> struggle for it, when people collectively organize to change the society, to fight for the rule of law. You know, and in Iran, you don't have the rule of law. You have what, you know, my legal friend here, Tom Ginsburg in the law school would call the rule by law. I'm not sure I've ever really understood what the distinction between the rule of law or the rule by law is, but it's something to do with this principle of equality and this principle of recognizing and tolerating everybody's uh, uniqueness and everybody's differences. Um, and in some sense, you know, the remarks by Ramatullah also made me think that um, this was the problem, you know, this was the problem in Afghanistan, that the difference between the discussion of Iran and the discussion of Afghanistan is that Iran, it's the Iranians struggling to change their society, to establish the rule of law. In Afghanistan, it was the US military that got rid of the Taliban, not the Afghans. And, it, and, and that seems to have had a huge impact on the lack of change in society, despite all the efforts that you know, many well-intentioned uh, people made. So just, I won't talk more, but I just, spent the day thinking about how all these things interact. And what I enjoy mostly is how, you know, is relating the more grand kind of theoretical discussion or social science -y or quantitative discussion with, you know, with the nuance and the stories and the human side of things. And, and, and I thought that was a nice combination. Well, I enjoyed that anyway. Okay. So, so thank you very much for coming. I hope you've had as much fun uh, as I did, and um, there's refreshments outside. <laughs>